project is focused on reducing hafnium in the nickel-based superalloy Marm-247, and we are sponsored by Helmet Aerospace. So the high temperature properties of Marm-247 are ideal for rotating jet engine components. Helmet uses Marm-247 for the later, hotter stages in aerospace and industrial turbofan engines. The hafnium that is contained in this alloy, as well as tantalum and titanium, are the primary carbide formers, and they produce stable carbides at high temperatures that improve the strength and creep properties of the alloy. However, hafnium is prone to form oxide inclusions in the melt, which can lead to solidification cracking. In addition, the price of hafnium has increased drastically in the recent years. So Halma is interested in what the impacts are if hafnium is reduced in the alloy. So our hypothesis is, if hafnium is removed to reduce melt oxides, solidification, cracking, and cost, then additions of tantalum and titanium can maintain castability and mechanical properties because the lower hafnium reduces melt oxides and tantalum and titanium substitute to form high temperature stable carbides. So we began by creating a roadmap to guide our investigation. A design of experiment was what we first worked on, and then we moved on to simulations and modeling. Then after choosing our compositions, Helmet cast them into bars and we began physical tests. So our design of experiment was a three component mixture DOE and we were focused on the ranges of hafnium, tantalum, and titanium compositions, and we ended up with a 19-run DOE. So after simulations were run, uh, four compositions were selected to cast and turn into physical samples. Uh, creep testing was performed on one sample of each composition. We did one creep test here at MTU, and the other three compositions were tested by Helmet at their facility. And then elevated temperature Tests were performed here at MTU to HAMAT specifications. SEM analysis was also completed to determine the effects of the hafnium composition on the carbide chemistry and morphology. From the creep testing, the compositions had uh, total lifetime and elongation less than the MARM-247, uh, but still within the range that HAMAT cons uh, considered good. Tensile testing data shows that the ultimate tensile strength, the elastic modulus, and yield strength are similar to the MARM-247 values. All compositions showed the same ultimate tensile strength as MARM-247 with the exception of the mid-range hafnium alloy. The yield strength for all four compositions was the same or higher than the MARM-247 value. The SEM analysis showed that the ratio of hafnium to tantalum and titanium was lowered within the carbides. This proves our hypothesis that when hafnium was reduced, cost decreased while mechanical properties and castability were maintained because there was successful carbide substitution from the tantalum and titanium. And we would like to thank the Helmet team as well as our advisors, Dr. Paul Sanders and Isabella Jazak, along with the entire MSC department and our fellow classmates.